In this presentation, we are going to discuss the MPATH Continuous Monitoring System as well as the MPATH Data Collector and related software that works with both. For more information, contact us at info at or call directly at 800-919-0156 in the USA. The fundamental difference between the MPATH and most other electrical signature analysis systems is we use the motor as the transducer itself. So we're not looking at just the electric motor. In effect, we're not using the accelerometer to measure the accelerometer. We are using the air gap in the electric motor to look at the entire system from incoming power to driven equipment which was the original concept behind electrical signature analysis in the late 1970s. Since then, people have focused on just the electric motor. So the continuous system looks at the impact of changes. It also looks at potential opportunities, not just looking for trouble. So we can take a look at things such as system performance, process, waste stream, and then also help identify and prove energy and reliability uh, process improvements. The online system or continuous monitoring system uses Windows 7 or later including any Windows based server or SCADA network uh, capability. It uses CAT 5e connections everything from the e-plug to the data collection system and to the server or secure VPN router for wireless capability. Directly compatible with the MPATH data collection system as well as another manufacturer's equipment. Monitors up to 32 systems per box automatically. That's 32 motors or transformers or other three phases uh, of input uh, per box automatically and 100 boxes per software instance. So power quality and critical analysis are continuously monitored and the complete motor system uh, analysis is performed at a frequency selected by the user. There are no annual fees and the, the software updates are free. There are no per seat fees, meaning that more than one person can have access to the data in order to perform analysis. It uses just a straight Windows folder structure. There's no SQL, there's no any other database system requirement. And then uh, the analysis files on the lower settings take up to 333 kilobytes per full data analysis and 2.2 megabytes on a very 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 high resolution uh, data collection depending on the selections you make. You'll have up to 500 continuous monitoring data sets which takes less than one megabyte total including the scheduler for so from the IT side it does not take a tremendous amount of memory to operate the MPATH CMS. Now we do take a look at power quality. We're seeing a lot of power quality analyzers coming up that do, oh, and we look at torque. No, instead we look at voltage and current. We look at power and power factor. We look at voltage and current harmonics. We do look at load and output torque. We also look at efficiency. But the difference is we do look at mechanical unbalance and misalignment. We do look at the rotor bar health index and provide a trend for that as well as alarms. We also take a look at the line frequency, the RPM, and the pull pass frequencies. We keep track of static eccentricity. Each is trended and there's far more coming on the way. So a lot of the data analysis that is performed is trended and we're capable of identifying faults during normal operation as well as when we do the more in-depth data collection which looks at the entire system. So the periodic analysis looks at not just the power quality and direct motor conditions but looks at load conditions related to fans, pumps, belts, gearboxes and other related equipment. It also will identify loose connections, developing winding shorts, and other conditions that uh, are detrimental to your system. It does a periodic analysis with built-in monitoring for induction motors, synchronous machines, variable frequency drives, transformers, generators, 
DC motors and generators, asynchronous generators, as well as driven equipment, gearboxes, including planetary gears, fans and pumps, belts and other loads. Has a built-in database of electric motors for rotor bars and stator slots, and it has a built-in bearing database so that you don't have to go look for that information ahead of time. It also auto-detects information that is not available during, uh, including rotor bars and stator slots, as well as identifying potential bearing problems if the bearings aren't entered. The scheduling for condition, condition uh, or continuous monitoring uh, is based upon when to collect the analysis data. It will only collect data when the equipment is operating and it will send alerts to email or cell phone in text as required. There is a quick snapshot view of data collected so you can take a look at a quick view analysis. Uh, we'll show the uh, alerts and alarms with red lines in particular, what's important about this is it doesn't just show, but it identifies what is going on and what component is having problems. The Empath system itself, or standard Empath data collector, uses BN connections for voltage uh, up to 700 volts, basically primarily so that we can do wind turbines up to 690 volts. Other than that, we use the CTs and PTs available on the uh, on higher voltage equipment. It has three BNC standard connections for current clamps, which means that you can either use the provided current clamps from Empath or any other commercially available current clamps with BNC connections with a millivolt per amp less than five volts. There are two additional BNC connections for other BNC capable inputs. And it uses a printer cable connection for USB connection to laptop and uses laptop for the power supply. It uses also a CAT5E cable for e-plug connections and can be used for continuous monitoring. It will do an automatic fault analysis, includes load if data put, is put in the nameplate screen. And then the raw operating data including circuit impacts such as loose connections, unbalanced phase impedance. We'll also look at bearing analysis, including parts of the bearing. In this case, it uh, was identifying a bad cage. And then low and high frequency, up to 6 kilohertz analysis for complete supply, motor, and powertrain analysis, basically from incoming power to driven equipment. It will also perform a torsional analysis, including time waveform and full spectra for the torque. So in summary, the Empath and Empath CMS are affordable, no additional or annual licensing fees, free software updates, training is available through MotorDoc, data analysis support is also available through MotorDoc and our vendors, reverse compatibility with software, meaning that I can go back to data I collected in 2002 and open and view it, and the Empath and Empath CMS systems use the same basic software so are fully able to talk. For more information or to get a quote, contact MotorDoc LLC. You can visit our site empathcms.com or through motordoc.com for service. Uh, also info at motordoc.com and 800-919-0156 in the USA, extension 102 and ask for Charlie.